1010 understanding inverse of uh, inverses of functions. So inverses of functions are just two functions that mirror each other. Um, so with these, in order to find the inverses, if you're given ordered pairs, you just got to switch the x and y values. If you're given a, um, an equation, you got to switch the x and y in the equation and resolve for y. So our first set of examples, we're graphing inverse functions. Um, to graph the inverse function, you can just reflect each point across the x or the y. Um, or, like I said, you can switch your x and y, and we're also giving the domain and range. So for this first one, we have ordered pairs of 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 5, 4, 6, and 8, 7. So our domain is our x values, so that's 0, 1, 2, 4, and 8. Our range are our y values, so that's 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So if we go to plot these points, we're going to start at 0, 2. Then we have 1, 4, 2, 5, 4, 6, and 8, 7. So we can draw the line through these points. And then if we are taking the inverse of these, we're going to switch our x and y values to where we have our x values of 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Our x values are going to be 0, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So our domain, which are our x values, are 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Our range is 0, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So to plot these points, we have 2, 0, and we have 4, 1, 5, 2, 6, 4, and 7, 8. So that's going to be these points here. I can actually do this a little bit better. There we go. So you'll realize that if you were to take a line straight through the middle of these, they would mirror each other, and in this case they do, so we know that our graphing is correct. For example, B, we have our x values of 0, 3, 4, 5, and 6, so those are our domain values. And then our y values, or our range, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 5. So we are going to plot these points. So we have 0, 3, or sorry, 0, 0, 3, 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, and 6, 5. So we plot these points. We draw the line through them. It has a little bit of a curve. And then we're going to switch the x and y values, so that way we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 5 for x values, and then our y is going to be 0, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So our domain for our inverse is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 5. Our range for the inverse is 0, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 0, 0 is a point, then we have 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, and 5, 6. So again, if we were to draw that line straight through the middle of these, they would mirror each other, and they do, so we are good. For example, C, we have x or domain values of 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7. And then for our range, we have y values of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. So we're going to plot these points. 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 
five, eight, and nine, seven. From here, we're going to switch our X and our Y values. So our X values are going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. And our Y values are going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7. So this one's going to give us our domain of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Our range is going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7. So to plot these points, we have 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, 3, 8, 5, and 9, 7. Now when you are given functions, you can change that f of x into y, and then switch the x and y and resolve for y to get the inverse function. So for a, we have f of x is equal to 2x. We're going to change the f of x to be y is equal to 2x. We're then going to switch x and y. So x is equal to 2y, and we're going to solve for y. So we're going to divide each side by the 2. So we have that y is equal to x over 2, which is 1 half x. Now when you write your inverse function, you rename it as f of 1 of x is equal to 1 half x. For b, we have f of x is equal to x over 4 minus 5. So we're going to change the f of x to be y is equal to x over 4 minus 5. We're going to switch x and y, so that way we have x is equal to y over 4 minus 5. Add the 5 to both sides. So we're going to rewrite this as y divided by 4 is equal to x plus 5. I want to get y by itself, so I'm going to multiply each side by that 4 and distribute in the 4 to my binomial. So I have y is equal to 4x plus 5. 20. So this is f to the negative 1 of x is equal to 4x plus 20. For c, we have f of x is equal to 5x minus 7. So we're going to change the f of x to be y is equal to 5x minus 7. We then switch the x and y, so x is equal to 5y minus 7. We move the 7 to each side, or add the 7 to each side to move it over to so get 5y is equal to x plus 7. Then I'm going to divide by 5 on each side and separate this into two terms. We're going to have y is equal to 1 fifth x plus 7 over 5. I'm just going to rename this f to the negative 1 of x is equal to 1 fifth x plus 7 fifths. For d, we're given f of x is equal to 1 half x minus 9. So this is y is equal to 1 half x minus 9. I'm going to switch my x and y, so x is equal to 1 half y minus 9. Move the 9 over by adding it to both sides. So we have 1 half y is equal to x plus 9. We're going to multiply each side by 2 to get the x, or sorry, to get the y by itself. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 18. So we just rename this as f to the negative 1 of x is equal to 2x plus 18. For our last section in our notes, we're writing the inverse of each function and graphing both the original and the inverse. So for the example A, we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 8. I'm going to graph this one in red and do the inverse in blue. So we're going to start at 6 on the y-axis, and then we're going to go up 3 and to the right 1. 
up three to the right one. Or you can also go down three into the left one. And I just run this the entire way through my coordinate plane. And then I draw my line through my points. From here, I'm going to find the inverse, so I am starting with y is equal to 3x plus 6. I'm going to switch my x and y, so I have x is equal to 3y plus 6. I subtract the 6 from each side, so I get 3y is equal to x minus 6. And then I divide each side by the 3, and I have y is equal to 1 third x minus 2, which is the same thing as f to the negative 1 of x is equal to one-third x minus two. So I'm going to plot the negative two on the y-axis and then go up one into the right three, to up one to the right three, up one to the right three, and keep this going my entire length of my coordinate planes. So I'm also gonna go down one to the left three. And then again, if I took it like an invisible line and just drew a line through the middle of these, they would mirror each other. And in this case, they do. So we know that these two are graphed correctly. For B, we have f of x is equal to 2 thirds x plus 2. So we're going to plot that 2 on the y-axis and then go up 2 to the right 3. Up 2 to the right three, and then just continue this the entire length of my coordinate plane in both directions. So we also go down two into the left three. I draw my line through my points. and then I find my inverse. So I'm starting with y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 2. So I'm going to switch my x and my y. So x is equal to 2 thirds y plus 2. I move the 2 over by subtracting it from each side. So I get 2 thirds y is equal to x minus 2. I multiply each side by 3 over 2. So these are going to cancel, so I'm going to have y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 3. I can also rewrite this as negative of f to the negative 1 of x is equal to 3 over 2x minus 3. So my negative 3 goes on my y axis, then I'm going to go up 3 into the right 2, my entire length of the coordinate plane. Oops up three to the right two, up three to the right two. And then I'm also gonna go down three into the left two. And you draw my line through my points. For our last example, we have f of x is equal to 2x minus 4. So I'm going to plot that negative 4 on the x-axis, and I'm going to go up 2 and to the right 1. Up 2 to the right 1. And keep this going the entire length of that coordinate plane. I'm also going to go down 2 and to the left 1. I draw that line through those points. And then I take that y is equal to 2x minus 4, switch my x and y, and then resolve for y. So I'm going to add the 4 to both sides. So we have 2y is equal to x plus 4, 
then we divide by 2. So y is equal to 1 half x plus 2, or f to the negative 1 of x is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So we have a positive 2 on the y-axis, then we're going to go down 1, or sorry, up 1 and to the right 2. Up 1 to the right 2, up 1 to the right 2. And also down 1 to the left 2. Once I do that, we're good.